Good morning, friends. It is the 7th of March. My name is Greg Simpson, and this is our Daily Lenten Devotion. We've moved way back to the back of the New Testament here, and we're going to read from the book of Ephesians, or the letter to the Ephesians, and we're going to read Ephesians 1, 3 to 6. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, just as he chose us in Christ before the foundations of the world to be holy and blameless before him in love. He destined us for adoption as his children through Jesus Christ, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, that he freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. This is such a beautiful, heartwarming, inclusive, adoptive statement that we are invited to be. No, we are in fact created to be adopted by God through Jesus Christ. That's a pretty powerful thought, isn't it? That you exactly how you are whether you think you're worthy or not god wants to adopt you as a child me as messy and complicated as my life is god wants to adopt me as a child i love that feeling of inclusion i'm not sure about you but it seems to me that a lot of our world is feeling very isolated Certainly, COVID had an awful lot to do with that. And I think sort of in the time post-COVID, in the in after the pandemic rules changed and after we were not pushed to be isolated from each other, we somehow just haven't re-engaged the same way as we did. People are still nervous about being in large groups. People have lost friends. Either they have died or they became distant and they just haven't rebuilt them in the same way. Entire societies are feeling isolated. And absolutely, I know that we need to intentionally rebuild fellowship and community. We need to build relationships. And I personally believe that churches are uniquely qualified to be a part of that. We are already groups that gather of like-minded individuals, but that generally don't have very, very difficult fences around them. That it's like, hey, if you would like to be here, we would love you to be here too. And I really hope that you belong to churches that are as open and inclusive and welcoming as all of that. But unfortunately, churches and religious organizations are still run by people, and people are messy. I. I love that phrase. People are complicated, people are messy, and sometimes it doesn't go just exactly the way it should. But with God, it always goes exactly the way it should. Whether you are feeling like you are part of a community or not, God wants to adopt you as a child. And somehow that makes you a part of a bigger community. And I don't think that I would have quite seen it this way without this thing that we're doing here, this beautiful around the world connection that we gather every morning to spend time together, that somewhere between three and 500 of us watch these videos to get our hearts and our minds and our spirits all in the same place because God invited us. God wanted us to be adopted to be God's children, which means no matter where you are, no matter who you are, no matter how you feel about yourself, you are invited. You are part of this beautiful family. And we look different and we dress different. And some of us know many, many different languages. I grew up in a place where English is the only language spoken, or the most common language spoken. There's certainly lots of French in Canada as well, but I really only speak English. And I know many of you speak many languages, and I tip my hat to you. You're way smarter than me. But no matter what language we speak, no matter what we think of ourselves, we are now part of this whole family of God. 
Now, I know that this verse has been used in some ways to be exclusionary. And unfortunately, we know that if you work hard enough, you can use almost any scripture to say whatever you need it to. We can proof text all we want. We can twist scriptures to do what we need. But this is a very open and diverse statement because we are all God's children. And that's not through our own action. That's through God's action. God is inviting us. God has created us to be God's children, which means that I don't get to choose whether you're God's child or not. I don't get to choose whether you belong to God's family or not, whether you believe the same thing as me or something different, whether you have said this prayer or that prayer, it doesn't matter. We are all adopted into God's family. And in a hurting world that is desperate for inclusion, desperate to feel like they belong, this is the ultimate sense of belonging. And I don't think I could have seen this scripture this way without all of you. And so I want to thank all of you for giving me this sense of belonging, that we belong together, all children adopted by God. Let us pray. God, we are so infinitely blessed by your invitation, by your creation of us as your children, your outstretched hand, your open arms, inviting us into your family. And as we look around the many different faces of this world, we realize everybody is invited into that big, beautiful, diverse, complicated, and messy family. Yes, we're going to have to figure out how to get along with our siblings. But under your loving, caring protection, as our loving parents, we are all your children. Thank you for this blessing, although it complicates things because we want to draw lines around the folks that we think should belong and those who don't. And so as we open our eyes and our hearts and our minds to this diversity, fill us with your unconditional, infinite love that we might love in response, that we might love in unconditional ways, that we might see through the baked in bigotry that we have, that we might overcome those struggles that we have around boundaries and borders and in whether people look or act or love or dress or speak the same as us. Let this diversity of broad family seep into our very beings that we might see ourselves as part of the worldwide family of God. Well then, thank you. Thank each and every one of you for being a piece of this family. Just the same as in our, in our earthly families, we have like brothers and sisters and we have siblings and we have cousins and we have aunts and uncles and grandparents. And of course, once you get to the cousins, you've got like really distant cousins and that group that you only ever see once every three years. And then these folks that you see every weekend, if you can. We have created the same sort of idea within God's family that we, those of us who watch and are part of this daily Lenten devotional, not that there aren't many other devotionals all around the world, but we, we are doing this. And we are this little piece of God's huge, diverse family. Thank you. Without you, we wouldn't be this. And so I want to invite each and every one of you to do something today to make somebody feel like they are a child of God. Maybe it's just in the comments, welcoming somebody else from somewhere else in the world. Maybe it's something you do in your life to make certain that somebody who is either has read this scripture or maybe hasn't read this scripture, that they feel like they are part of the family of God. Whatever that looks like for you, that's my challenge to you. If you have missed any previous videos, click over there and you can get them. While you're down there, click the thumbs up button. It's just right about, uh, right about there, I think. Um, and uh, you can always click up there and subscribe. I love you all. I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.